were in prime black widow habitat. And just beneath these small logs and branches, we found several egg clusters from what appears to be a black widow. Typically, the female black widow doesn't leave her nest and tends to the egg clusters until the babies are hatched. And what is this spider? It's a slightly chilly morning here in Florida. Um, today we're gonna go out and see if we can find anything. Now, since it's a little chilly, it may be hard to find reptiles and stuff. We may have to flip some logs over and stuff like that. See what we can find out there. All right, I think we got a prime habitat for different reptiles. Now, I have a feeling there's nothing substantial here log-wise. There's tons of little sticks and stuff. I think we're gonna find something more like a spider than a snake, but let's just flip a few of these over and see what we got. There's 40,000 known species of spiders around the world, and around 3,000 of those live in North America. Now that's a spider nest, spider web. Now I know there's a lot of black widows. Oh yeah, there's a black widow nest right there. Those spiky egg sacs, black widow. Let's see, uh, let's see what... Technically, there's five species of widow spiders in North America, and most are easily recognized by that distinctive hourglass, varying from red to orange, as well as the female's tendency to eat the male counterpart. Now, each one of these sacs can contain up to 200 live babies, and I counted over five sacs here, so that's over a thousand juvenile widow spiders. The, the widow itself and it looks to be a brown widow let's go ahead and get the brown widow out of there she's right there okay I see her she's right there let's get her out of there the brown widow's venom is actually more toxic than the black widow's venom however it deals in smaller doses and is highly unlikely to cause fatalities now I know that that's a widow nest by those spiky egg sacs and we know just how many baby juvenile widows those egg sacs can possibly contain. But the question is, what kind of spider is this? This doesn't have the telltale hourglass, red hourglass, and those legs just look a little bit longer than the normal widow spider. Now I must confess, spiders used to be quite creepy to me, so just holding this spider is Still a bit of a amazing feat for me. Could this just be a genetic mutation that for some reason the widow spider didn't exhibit the red hourglass? Or could this just be a male brown widow spider that possibly doesn't have the hourglass at all? But that's not possible. Look how big this guy is. Male widow spiders are much smaller than their female counterparts. Is this possible? A spider that exhibits genetic mutation and abnormal size? Most likely not. I couldn't actually find this spider for the longest time. I kept thinking daddy long leg, daddy long leg. And then I found out that the daddy long leg is actually called the granddaddy long leg. She's not a daddy long leg. She does have some long legs though, doesn't she? Um, a note to she, cause we saw all of her different um, egg sacs down there and then I found out that this is the cellar spider the cellar spider is actually called the daddy long leg and the cellar spider actually hunts and kills black widows those long legs are a great benefit to the spider when hunting black widows we've all heard the urban legend that the daddy long legs venom is even more poisonous than the deadly black widow 
but a Mythbuster recently verified that as not being 100% correct. It is toxic, but doesn't cause much more than just some minor irritation in that region for a few seconds. Knowing now that they call the Cellar Spider the Daddy Longleg, and that the Cellar Spider hunts down and kills Black Widows, I think has attributed to the fact that they say the Daddy Longleg is the most venomous of all the spiders. It's not surprising that this spider's venomous, as all spiders are venomous to some extent. But what is surprising is that this spider with such lanky legs is able to hunt down such formidable predators like the Black Widow and Brown Widow. So let me tell you the story. Now this spider is in fact called the Cellar Spider and it got its nickname from being found in wine cellars or shipping containers and cargo storage bins. This spider favors cold dark places and can often be found in those locations. Now. What this spider does to hunt down a black widow is it spins a web across the front of its two legs and is able to trap the black widow between those web fibers, giving this spider a real upper hand when it comes down to hand-to-hand -hand combat. In fact, this spider's venom is less toxic than the black widow, but it is a better fighter because of those long lanky legs it has. From an early age, I've never really fully understood spiders and always had somewhat of a arachnophobia towards spiders so for me to just hold first off the daddy long leg would be quite a feat a few years ago and I've slowly progressed to a, a more comfortable position while handling spiders but I have a long ways to go and I intend to work my way up the rungs in order to hold ever more scary intimidating and dangerous spiders make sure you tune in for those episodes hit that like button if you like this episode and subscribe. Thanks again. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put her. Thanks back for watching. Extraordinary facts right about ordinary creatures on the Great Outdoors the channel. I'm your host Alex. Okay. If you like this video, make sure you go back and check out our now. ghost crab video it about the mystery it. holes we found, or the bee video. Thanks again. You can find that in the Extraordinary Facts About Ordinary Creatures playlist.